Hey, babe, you want to hear a joke? Would you stop with the joke? Babe, you are the only person I have to tell the jokes to. You well, count me out! So, Tinder guy was mad that I didn't fuck him and decided to just speed home from the airport. Now we're pulled over. Mm, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, right here. Where? Where? Can I help you? Can you come with me? 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 No, no, mom, who is it? Keanu Reeves, and I want to go take a picture of it. Okay, go. Do you know him? No, I don't know him, but I'll go with you. I have no idea who he is. One, two, three. Got it. Yes, yeah, send me that. <laughs> She is not gonna be happy when she realizes I made a TikTok with it. Ass fucking joke dirt, ugly ass, have an ass. Well, at least I don't have a face that needs some help. At least you have a what? Oh, at least I don't have a face that needs some help. Oh. Hey, babe. Hi, babe. Uh. Whoa. Roll, roll the window down. Why? What do you mean, why? Roll the window down. What does that mean? That if. Just roll down the window, it stinks. No, it stinks should. in here. You what do you mean, go bro? You just you just got in the car. Where are you going? Yeah. On the count of three, everyone points to the player they think is most likely to run from the police. The player with the most votes is three. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> what? Nah, nah, you gotta, you gotta no, get away. Three women that will ruin your life, guaranteed. Number three, realtors. Realtors are slaves to the game. They're on their phone constantly, 24 seven. You will feel like the least loved person in the entire world with a realtor because they, they're just on their phone constantly with other people never paying attention to you. And on top of it, they all wanna bang somebody in a house that they're showing and that somebody probably isn't you. Number two, definitely nurses. Nurses, they're some freaks, don't get it twisted. Like, a lot of fun. But they also work crazy hours, they're working. 412s, 24 hour shifts, all kinds of crazy hours. They're overworked, they're exhausted when they're done, but they'll also go out and get drunk on a Tuesday morning, like at seven in the morning, like it's no big deal, hammered drunk. And then they're for sure banging a dime. Number one, easy, hairstylist. They are wild, they are crazy, they are fun. The ride is an awesome ride. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom, what just happened? right? We've all been there with the hairstylists, just batshit crazy. They work in a salon where it's all women. You put that many women in a workplace, it's just going to be drama. It's going to be crazy. There's too much estrogen, all that type of stuff. And then on top of that, their clients show up and throw all their life problems. Like they're a fucking therapist. Like, Hey, this is what my, what's going on in my life. And they have to hear all that just puts these bad seeds in their minds. And then on top of all of that, they're probably banging one of their clients. What's one thing you learned about men whilst working in the adult industry that you didn't know prior to working in the adult industry? I'll start. Most clients, most punters, um, in whatever capacity they are visiting you, are looking for a connection. They might not realise that their, their fundamental drive is love and connection, but it is. And when I realized that about my clients, when I when I saw that in my ayahuasca journey, it just changed my view of men. And I could very, I could very well hate men at this point in my life. But I don't, I don't because I see them as pure divine souls, just craving love and connection. And that just happened to be the avenue that they found it by hiring an escort. Is that really your thing? Because you talked about the henny bottle to the head. Oh my god, I like getting beat the f up. <laughs> so do I. Like, I, I like more violence like the, the better. Yeah. What's the most violent thing you've ever done in a she sexual tooth situation? Knocked out. No, I what? did get my tooth knocked out. I, a guy punched me in the face with a ring on, but no. What about you, babe? With a closed like fist? Babies? I think that's too yeah. much. You can't do that to a girl, right? I was cool with it. I told you, him so. You lost a tooth and you weren't mad. Yeah, my uncle's a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> You've already graduated. You can't come back. Yes, but hear me out. I don't really think I fully grasped the concept of English the first time around. 